With the month gone by since the deadly explosion on board the Deepwater Horizon, thousands of barrels of oil continue to spill into the Gulf. I understand that there are legal and financial issues involved, and a full investigation will tell us exactly what happened. But it is pretty clear that the system failed, and it failed badly. For that, there's enough responsibility to go around. Since then, the focus is turning to cement as a likely cause of the blast. It's used to protect an underwater well under severe pressure and temperature, but it can and it has failed. An AP review shows cementing has been cited at least 34 times in federal accident or incident reports since 1978. In the case of the Deepwater Horizon, this is what may have happened. Cement was mixed with nitrogen and pumped deep down into the well. After sinking to the bottom, it then oozed upward to fill the spaces between the steel casing pipe and rock walls. When it sets, the cement is supposed to form an impenetrable wall. But if gas bubbles get in, they can form a channel for pressurized gas and oil to surge uncontrollably up the well. It's still unclear what sections of the cement may have failed back in April or why, but the fact that something went wrong should come as no surprise. Federal regulators have known for years that gas can get caught between the casing and the well wall. They say it's a major problem and typically the result of bad cement work. But there are no federal regulations on what type of cement is used. That's a decision left up to the oil and to the gas companies. The company responsible for the cement work on the well of the Deepwater Horizon is Halliburton. It's defending its work, saying they've used the nitrogen cement mix successfully on many other wells. So far, Halliburton has not responded to the AP's request for comment. Nicole Grether, The Associated Press.